Hi everyone! In today's video we are going to talk about tax system in Poland. Since the early 90s of 20th century, the Polish tax system has been developing gradually. The purpose is to encourage foreign investors to invest in Poland and as a consequence to create new employment opportunities. To achieve it, Poland's corporate income tax rate was reduced from 40% to 19% and relatively low labor costs within EU countries within quite high level of living. There are only five countries of lower expenditures than Poland on labor matters among EU countries, according to our Minister of Finance. The valorization of the tax results in PIT, the tax-free amount and costs of revenue costs were reintroduced in 2007. Since 2009, there has been a new scale with two tax rates, 18% and 32%. One tax threshold of the amount of 85,528 zloty and the amount of decreasing the tax, 556 zloty. The reform of the tax system was determined adaptation of the Polish law to the law of the European Union. As a consequence, the Polish tax law was harmonized and coordinated in some parts with the EU tax law. In Poland, like in other countries of the European Union or OECD, different tax exemptions are applied. However, there is a tendency to reduce them. On the other hand, all tax liabilities should be decreased. The tax system has become clearer and more simplified. Furthermore, the collection of tax is simplified for taxpayers. The Polish tax system consists of the following taxes. There are direct taxes like personal income tax, PIT, corporate income tax like CIT, tonnage tax, inheritance and donation tax, tax on civil law transactions, agricultural tax, forest tax, real property tax, transport vehicle tax, tax on extraction of certain minerals. And there are also indirect taxes like VAT, excise duty and gambling tax. Specific tax rates and exemptions will be discussed in the next videos. That's all for today. If you have any questions, call us or email us from down below. See you next time.